Hey parents, Master Shill here and on our series about the top challenges facing parents and families today. So there was a recent news story that just came out actually this morning talking about the effects that COVID and the lockdowns have had on our children's brains. It actually accelerated the aging for girls up to almost four and a half years, boys almost two years, and on the negative effects it has. So some of the biggest things our kids are facing and we're seeing it, we've seen it since COVID hit, was anxiety, depression, dealing with bullying, and primarily cyberbullying because they're online so much, screen addiction, and learning disabilities because of the um, the decline in the academic system that happened because of COVID. Now, I'll tell you that when I started this after-school program in 2001, my kindergartners were coming home with 20 to 25 spelling words every week. And I can tell you now that my kindergartners in my after-school program come home with nothing. They don't send homework home anymore. Now, we still do have academic rigor that we put them through just, and it's not a lot, but it's enough to help them accelerate past their peers um, in this development cycle. But we've actually seen things really decline um, since COVID. There, we call the development delay is what I call it personally. They're about 12 to 18 months behind where they should be at. If a child's five years of age, they should have these skill sets. And a lot of what we're seeing now is that they don't have it. Their emotional, social, and mental intelligence is about 12 to 18 months behind. They really have a hard time dealing with any kind of stress. I've seen children walk in the door um, and regardless of what your views are on mask or no mask or whatever, and I know we're kind of past all that, but I've seen kids walk in the door and if you ask them to take their mask off because I want to see their face, I want them not to hide behind it, they literally have a meltdown on the spot. I'm going to die, you know, just all these things. And then, unfortunately, that's the program that a lot of these children faced. And based upon this study, uh, my fears have been realized and talking about it's accelerated the aging in the brain and really put a lot of these fears into place. So what can we do as parents that will really help our children be able to handle this situation and grow beyond it and learn to understand that we're going to face adversity in life. It's just part of what it is, right? But how we face this adversity and how we work through the problems is going to make a big difference on our happiness as we move forward. One, there needs to be an open communication and open dialogue between parents and children. They need to understand, and one, they're going to learn from us. So if we're having challenges in our life and we're like putting our hands through our hair and we're like, oh my God, chicken little, the sky is falling, doom and gloom, then that's the way they're going to learn how to deal with fear and anxiety and just overall crap coming in their life. So we have to learn to take measured responses. We have to learn how to deal with anxiety and we have to learn to deal with adversity. And so they're going to learn from us. They're also going to learn from the mentors in their lives. You know, are you getting mad? Are you screaming and yelling, throwing things, you know, slamming doors? Are you, or are you completely shutting down and won't talk about it at all? They need to know and understand how to deal with this adversity and deal with the anxiety of just life in general. So one, have an open communication with them. If you don't do well at communication, put the right people in their lives. Ultimately, like I tell my students, your parents are your number one default place you need to go to. But if you need our help, we're here and we support that growth. I'm very much about the village raising the child. You have to have the right people in place. So communication's one. One, and I know you're going to hear me say this a lot, get off the devices. Shut the screens down. That goes for you too, parents. Y'all are just as bad as the kids are. I've been at festivals at schools and working with the kids and we're breaking boards and doing stuff and and I look up and all the parents sitting against the wall are all stuck on their phones. They look like teenagers sitting over there, completely oblivious to anything going on in their child's life. Now, your child only wants one thing for you, the kind of car you drive, how big or small your house is, none of that matters to them. They want one thing and one thing only, and that's our time and our attention. They just want our love. That's all they want. 
We're social beings, and it's super important that you're getting in the, the trenches with them and doing things with them. Don't come home and be like, oh, gosh, now i got to deal with these children, right? I was sitting in a mastermind meeting one time with Joe Theismann, the you know Hall of Fame quarterback that played for the Washington Redskins. And he was talking about how, you know, when he would come home, when his dad would come home from work, he was worked in the steel mills, he would say, Dad, can we, go out and the, can we go out and throw the football? Can we do stuff? And his dad would never say, you know, give me just a few minutes. Let me just rest for a minute. His dad always went. And he said that made a huge impact in his life and how he fathers his own children as well. You know, so parents, please be present in their life. You need to help them develop coping mechanisms. How do we deal with adversity? One, they're going to learn from you. Right? How you deal with it is how they're going to learn. And they're going to emulate what we're doing. They're going to emulate relationship, communication styles, how to deal with adversity. They're going to emulate all that based upon how you're handling it. And that's not to say that you're doing something wrong. I'm just saying you've got to be mindful. I've got five children. My, My oldest is 43. My youngest is 17. And I'm a much smarter parent now than I was with my two older kids. And so we just have to be mindful of that. And if you don't have all the answers... Find someone who has greater answers than you do. That's no different than I do in business. If I need to find something out, I don't, you know, I don't call just my friend down the street. I call somebody who's very well versed in that field. And that's the way you should do as well. Be aware of any mental health signs. So my biggest thing is, are they wearing a hoodie all the time? Are they trying to be in a cocoon? Are they trying to be locked off? Do they just want to go in their room and shut the door and not communicate with you? Pull their little behinds out of the out of their uh, out of their bedrooms. Get them engaged with you. Have conversations. Another thing I want you to do is, if you need the professional help, get it. You know, for a lot of people, they kept, they bring their children to our academy because we are so good at this. We are good at bringing the best out in their child, developing them, know when to push and when to pull and when to help. We know how to do that really, really well. So everybody thinks martial arts is just about blocking, kicking, punching, and grappling. It's really not. That's one of the physical elements to it. But we're working on building their confidence and their self-esteem and their communication skills and their ability to go out in life and kick it in the face and say, you know what? I am not going to let it keep me down. It's building that mental toughness, that grit. Because it's not like it was 2,000 years ago where somebody's going out of the door and they're having to fight to the battle of of, of, of their life. It's the more the mental strain, being on social media all the time and that constant bombardment. It's that mental anguish, the anxiety, the fear that they're going through. And a lot of it's not caused because of physical. Now, the more physical they are, the greater their body and their brain can learn to handle it. So I'm going to put all this up on the website. This is just a kind of a just a little bit of a taste of it. So all this will be up on the website. Go to peakperformancemartialarts.com. Look for the blog. And you can find it there. If you've got any questions, want to learn more, if your child's struggling, if you're struggling, hey, give us a call. We'll be happy to help. We'll be happy to provide the assistance that we've developed, you know, for over the last near 40 years. So this is Master Shield. Thanks for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye-bye.